Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and welcome to SketchUp Made Simple. Today, friends, we are going to use SketchUp. I'm hoping this is the first time you've ever used it, and we're going to make a pretty cool house. So let's get cracking. Friends, the first step is to scroll down, and you will see a link to the SketchUp app right in this video. Once you click that, make sure you choose Sign In with Google, and then click on your username, and you'll be in SketchUp for the first time. I want you to hit this down arrow and we are going to build with decimal meters. Make sure you click on that. Make sure you watch your neighbors. When you do the first creation, if yours isn't meters, just hit home and redo it. If it asks you to save, tell it no. So once we're in SketchUp, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click and let go. Everything we do, we click and let go. When you click on the person, hit the delete key and get rid of them. They were just there to show us how big the world is. The second thing I'm going to tell you, once again, click and let go, is we're going to use shortcuts. So with your left hand, I want you to hit the letter R for rectangle, and then go to the origin. When you put your mouse there, you'll see it pauses and says origin. Click and let go. You can move the mouse, but don't hold the button. This is different than any other CAD program we play with. Once you've got that out there, make it look a little bit like a rectangle. I'm going to let you pick whatever sizes you want. Click and set it down. This is how you draw with SketchUp. It's click once, move, and click again. The second thing I want to tell you about this is when you're watching my video, you need to always click this tab when you come back. When we do all these shortcuts, if you watch the video and don't activate the browser, it sends the commands to the wrong window, which is kind of confusing. So you'll see me click in this screen as we do it. We're going to move over here, and we're going to choose from the tape measure tool the dimension tool. When you click the dimension tool, it's a three click tool. Click once on the end point, click once on the other end point, and then bring it out towards you and click and set it down. So my little building I'm building is four meters in this direction. We can't click this one again because it assumes we're thinking about the same one. So we're going to click this one out here, click here, and then this one's eight. I want your numbers to be different than mine. Anything around 10, 15 is great. The next tool we're gonna to use is push pull. So P for push pull. Click on the center shape and I want you to lift it up so it looks like a building, just like that. The next tool I want you to use is offset. We're gonna press F for offset and we're gonna click in the middle so there's these dots. Once again, let go after you click push the mouse out, and we want to make it look like walls. Now we're going to go back to P for push pull, and I want you to click on this, and I want you to push it down. Now notice I moved the red arrow. I'm still not clicking. I moved the red arrow out of the building, and I'm going to go touch the origin. And boom, we have cut out our building, and it has walls just like that. Friends, let's real quickly go back to R for rectangle. Notice you do have to click that tab to make sure you get it find the midpoint. So I'm just moving. I'm not clicking. See how it turns teal? That's the midpoint and you can just draw a door. Once you've got that clicked in, I'm going to hit O for orbit and I want to look at it from a corner. This time I am dragging and I'm going to hit P for push pull. And notice it hovers and shows you which you're selecting. We want to select the door. Remember that little red arrow? We want to go touch the inside edge or the inside corner so that it cuts our doorway out just like that. Let's quickly make sure we click our tab, hit O for orbit, look at it from this side, R for rectangle, and let's draw a window over here. Once again, after you draw it, O for orbit, P for push pull, push, and we want to touch that wall to cut out a window. Let's add a window on this side, but on this side, let's do C for circle, Click where you want to start the circle. Click again where you want to finish it. Space bar, select the middle this time. That's another nice trick. P for push pull. And once again, when we push it, we want to find an end point on the inside. Not the outside, the inside of the wall. Now SketchUp all works in the cloud, but you do need to hit save. When you hit save, we're going to hit SketchUp and we're going to call this Fun House. It takes a moment to save, and boom, your project is looking pretty darn sweet. Let's click our tab, hit the space bar, 
grab everything we've built so it'll turn all blue and I want you to right click on it and I want you to make it a group so that'll all be together now the next piece we draw is not going to be connected so I'm going to click down here on the ground I want you to spot this blue line I want you to press the letter L for line and go along the front of your building and find where it says midpoint of the group and then I want you to lift up notice it's black or it's blue we want on the blue axis a line and then we want to connect that all the way across so I'm doing one click to this corner one click to this corner and then back to the top so we've just made a cool triangle that sits on the top press E for eraser and get rid of the middle line friends this is gonna be our roof let's do P for push pull once again click and let go I'll show you that a hundred times and take it across and touch the end and you just made an awesome building over on this side we are gonna grab materials we could just pick colors and paint it notice because it was a group it painted in one click which is amazing I'll paint this in one click notice it's not a group so I'd have to do each piece separate I am pushing in the scroll wheel to orbit you can also hit O to orbit as you're checking out your sweet building paint is not the only thing we've got though watch this friends if you go to the browse tool we can find brick cladding and siding if you drop bricks on it boom you've just made a brick house let's see if we can find roofing here it is pick your cool roofing and once again you have to click each piece to paint the roof but you've just made a fantastic house hit save and friends I do want a screenshot for this when you do a screenshot in my room you can of course use the snipping tool but watch this if you click the three bars you can download a PNG so right in here you can zoom adjust if you hit H you can use the hand to move it where you want go back to O for orbit find a cool screenshot and then simply choose export as PNG I'm gonna say don't show again hit export and then make sure you put it in your downloads folder which in my classroom probably should happen automatically friends make sure you hit file save so you don't lose your work I hope you had a fantastic time with this lesson and of course friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like even hit that share button so more people can learn about SketchUp made simple if you got a question comment or a suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me HL Mod Tech thanks for watching have a great day